Hi, it's Ben from the number one estate agents in Usk, Arch & Co, keeping you up to date with everything property related. Here we are with our winter market update 2023. The final quarter of 2022 brought lots of upheaval in the property market. Following on from Liz Truss and Quasi Quartang's mini budget that sent the whole economy into a downward spiral. The housing sector was not immune to this and saw a rapid increase in interest rates that affected confidence in the market, ultimately seeing prices fall by 1-2% to nationally. However, house prices are bouncing back in the new year after two months of falls leading up to Christmas, the Rightmove HPI reveals. The latest house price index from Rightmove shows that asking prices rose 0.9% from December to January, which is the biggest increase since 2020. Yes, this is just asking prices rather than sold prices, but this is off the back of a 2.1% drop in December and a 1.1% drop in November. However, average asking prices are still 8,720, lower than their peak in October. It is the biggest New Year bounce since 2016, with the number of prospective buyers up 55% compared with the two weeks before Christmas. Looking at the tail end of 2022, there has been a constant three-month narrative amongst the press that has said we will most certainly see an inevitable meltdown. There was simply no way that it wasn't going to happen. So much so that if you Google House Price Crash 2023 UK, 96 million results pop up. I remember a similar scenario in the early 2020s from the onset of the pandemic and from the resulting lockdowns. I also remember the same narrative in 2014, 2015 and 2016 as we considered whether to Brexit or not. And then again when a threat of a no-deal Brexit was hung over our heads in 2018 and 2019. I'm afraid that prophecies of the disintegration of the UK property values have been rather overdone again. Overall, the number of inquiries is down by a third compared to the buoyant market of this time last year, but is still up 4% compared to the same period in 2019. In contrast to buyer inquiries being down slightly, there is also a lack of supply in properties being put on the market for sale around 10% short on stock levels compared with before the pandemic. This, coupled with buyer inquiries being down, makes it quite an even market, neither a seller's or a buyer's market. This is far different to the last two years where we have seen such a strong seller's market. In Monmouthshire, the average house price increase from November 2021 to November 2022, just before this winter, was 14.1%. The average house being 364,000. This is down 1.4% on the yearly increase from August 2021 to August 2022, highlighting the slight change in market conditions at the end of last year. The average detached home in Monmouthshire in November 2022 sits at £529,000, a 13.7% increase compared to November 2021 figure of £465,000. Latest research from Nationwide indicates falling longer term interest rates could lead to cheaper mortgages and improve the affordability position of potential buyers, especially if wages rise. While supply is low, a decrease is extremely unlikely, making it a level market for buyers and sellers, so it could be the perfect time to put your house on the market or look to buy one. If you need any help or assistance or any guidance in the current market, speak to either myself or one of my team in the office today.